because I've navigated a year of all in entrepreneurship. I've hit zero multiple times. The, the strain and the impact on families is incredibly challenging. As an entrepreneur, as a business owner, as a CEO, you are attracting the worst problems. Like you have to continue to face gaps in your know-how or your capability and climb and then push through. So how have you found the tenacity to keep doing that? Because you've been building this for three four years now, three. Yeah. Which is incredible having not worked in industry prior. That's why that, and I have, you know, more lines of encouragement for you from your case study, but it is, it is absolutely wild to me that you have gotten this product this far, just based on pure academic like experiences and then starting a company and actually seeing this much success in it is remarkable you. because you have so much runway beyond vessel or however you scale vessel into something even greater um so yeah what what have been some of the problems that you've attracted that you didn't feel ready for and found a path through uh, all yeah. of them yeah <laughs> all, all of them mm -hmm. um you so thank you for your kind words again um i am an engineer by training and therefore not a business owner by training. Yes. So everything business related, which, oh yeah, my title is CEO. I do all of the business related things. All of that is new. Every yeah. single element of that is new. And so what you learn is tenacity is one thing. You just have to be really fall in love with the process. You really do have to fall in love with the process because if you don't like learning new things, you will hate a startup um, because you have to enjoy figuring things out. One of the things that I absolutely despise, and I'm sure a lot of people do, is financial projections. They're never fun. No one wants to do them. If you do, God bless you. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but early on, I would try and like, okay, well, I'll use this framework or I'll get an intern to build it or, you know, and, and you keep trying to figure out creative ways that you don't have to learn it. And at the end of the day, you do have to learn it. Yep. Um, and so you, you're often forced into that situation, but now because reluctantly I was forced into building them, I feel a lot more confident explaining why the numbers are the way they are, how we are going to get to X, Y, Z in revenue, how we're going to sell that many devices. What assumptions were we making when we tossed these numbers in? What is our hiring plan and how does that affect us and how will it change based on our launch date? So I would say you attract all kinds of problems being the CEO of a startup and you have to be okay with the fact that you aren't going to know everything. Mm 